my name is Stefano Galuzzo. I am owner of uh, QPS Landscape and Fuel Professionals. We're also known as Quality Property Services. We have a couple of few things in our company that we do. We have a construction build, pool, landscape, outdoor living, and also a maintenance division of commercial maintenance that we take care of snow and uh, the exterior properties. I'm Connie Kidot, certified landscape designer, owner of Garden Retreats, 20 years in business, and 10 year member of Landscape Ontario. This is my fourth Canada Blooms feature garden. Garden Retreats is a small, freelance design company. I do drawings for homeowners or builders on a regular basis, and I have some repeat customers. Um, I do also permit drawings, anything to do with landscaping and project management. Behind this build is uh, months of preparation, design. Me and Connie worked on different ideas. I've worked with her many projects in the city. Uh, so we kind of have a collaboration and we know each other and we, could, and we work well together. And you know, some things changed. We tried to keep, uh, we wanted to get that we're up on a terrace look, overlooking Toronto. So we tried to create it like we're, we're, we're on a terrace. Try to incorporate different stones try to keep a give a, a Miami look to the cabana like rather than the contemporary cedar cabana we try to give different looks right so incorporated natural stone which we love to work with and we did some permacon pavers to match with the as the trends coming as you see the checkerboards may be coming back in obviously you start with the blank slate in this case it's a little bit more difficult than having an actual yard and measurements and so you, you try have to work with the focal point and since we have a theme it makes it a little bit easier if you start with the theme so as soon as I found out it's a party I kind of had the swim up bar in my mind and and the terrace and the backdrop of Toronto so I had that first I went back and forth between Gatsby and Mardi Gras so I've incorporated a bit of the theme of the Mardi Gras and it, as well as a bit of whimsy because I think it's important at Canada Blooms to have a little bit of entertainment and I think plants are the most valuable part of any project so I have incorporated a large amount of plant material in my garden because originally Canada Blooms was all about plants. I always feel that if you can pull this off in four and a half days you can accomplish any project. It's a great learning experience for anybody. So my original volunteer days gave me the confidence to come back and actually do my own feature garden. I started the business when I was 16 years old. Me and my old partner kind of grabbed a few lawnmowers and uh, started cutting the neighborhood's lawns and uh, grew the business that way. We're at uh, we had quite a few customers. Then we started introducing a few years later uh, the construction aspect of landscaping, and we grew with that. I learned a lot from talking to the customers, and now we have a fairly big firm. It's been over 20 years now. I went to Ryerson and took the landscape design program and just took several courses from Landscape Ontario and also the, the certification program, which really helped. So experience is the most valuable teacher, but the credentials are also good. We're always looking to hire new graduates, somebody who's got passion in the landscape industry, someone who, who wants to make a career out of it. We're not going anywhere, we're going to grow as a company, so we're always looking for somebody who's got passion, hard work, uh, can get along with everybody, have something new and exciting every job. And, and have that passion, that's what we're looking for. What I like about the landscape industry is it's always something new to do. It's always some, you know, I guess everybody in the landscape industry loves it, it's outdoors. It's always a new project, always meeting new people. It's a great thing for, for any new person not looking to be in the office. I couldn't be bottled up in the office. It was something that I wanted to be outdoors. I love people, I love business. I loved creating new things and that was kind of my satisfaction at the end of the job seeing the customer's face, their reaction, and how it all came together. It's been 
a pleasure creating something for the public to enjoy. I think that's a big part of it. So hope to be back next year.